How's it going, Teal boys? It is week eight. We're six and one. Still unranked somehow. Uh, and we get a game against Virginia at home for the first time in a while. Statistically, we're the better team. We've got the higher overalls. Uh, we're scoring more points per game. Our defense is miles better than theirs. Uh, we are losing the turnover battle, but that's typical for us. And minus three through seven games, honestly, for us isn't all that terrible. What is uh, what has Virginia played so far this season? They lost to Oregon in a close one. They lost to Charlotte in a close one. Beat an FCS team. Beat Clemson, and then lost to Louisville pretty badly last week. So it looks like we, you know, won't be expected to lose. We should be expected to win. I don't know. As far as we're concerned, six and one with our only loss to the number seven team in the country. Still not ranked. I think that's that's a, such a slap in the face. Sure, our wins aren't great. They're not against the best teams, but they're solid wins. I mean, we destroyed Notre Dame. They're ranked. We beat Pitt by 10. We lost by six to NC State, but then blanked Baylor. Won by a solid margin against Georgia Tech, a solid margin against Tamu, and a very solid margin against Virginia Tech. So I don't see why we shouldn't be ranked. Let's just go ahead and try to run the score up easily in this game. Let's hope that the defense can hold. Uh, but first, we'll do some recruiting. Uh, we have points that we need to put in, or at least shift around. But let's see. Top 25 polls. What ranked matchups do we have this week? Uh, okay. Number two, Washington plays number 17, Colorado. Number three, Georgia plays number 15, Vanderbilt. Number five, Oklahoma plays number 14, Kansas. Number eight, LSU plays number 19, Arizona State. Interesting out of conference there. Uh, so, you know, a decent amount of top 10 teams playing. Well, hope maybe Notre Dame. Well, we want Notre Dame to win because they're in our conference, but we'll help a bunch of these teams lower down on the uh, rankings can lose so that we can finally jump in and get ranked. That'll look good for our conference, which will in turn help our recruiting. And speaking of which, let's get into that. I think we have a few points that we need to shift around um, and maybe a couple of players to take off the board. I'm pretty sure somebody committed elsewhere. Yeah, Tyrone Hodges is going to UCF. That's fine. Um, let's, let's, uh, see how we're doing. Top players, Joe Rogers, are we still going or, okay. Uh, Georgia Southern wants our kicker. That's a problem. We don't have the points to give to him right now. We'll deal with that in the future. How about Mike Shelby? We are still in the battle. We're looking actually pretty solid against Texas A&M, so I'm fine with that. Aaron Jenkins, we're still slowly erasing that deficit. Kyle Edwards, we're losing 75 a week now, but again... We're just going to try to hope that we don't get locked out after this week because South Carolina has their visit. And hopefully by week 12, we can, uh, you know, make things fair again. Logan Smith is 98% locked. We are slowly gaining on North Carolina. We have our visit coming up only 80 points behind. This is a very close race. Less than 100 points separating the top four teams here. Uh, I like our odds. We have another 100 points that we could give him potentially. We just have to find where they're coming from and... Uh, let's see, Anthony Moore looks solid. So all around, we're we're looking okay on a lot of these matchups, uh, or, or you know, recruiting battles. We just need the commits to start rolling in, and I don't really think we're gonna shift a whole lot of things around. Maybe we move some points here, but as it stands, I'm not super worried. And we're just gonna let it ride for a week. We do have visits we can schedule, five of them to be exact. We were sending a bunch of guys to the uh, what was it? The Clemson game? The North Carolina game? Some, I think it was the North Carolina game, but we can't send Kevin West, so he's going to come this week to Virginia. Um, let's go ahead and send Joe Rogers late to North Carolina. I mean, look at that. We get uh, an extra 450 points just as a base on our visit by scheduling it later than Georgia Southern, so great news there. Brock Hampton will come to this Virginia game. Matt Brigham will go to the North Carolina one. And Danny Wilson will also go to the North Carolina, uh, starting to get some competitive visits, but still more complimentary is good news. So that's our recruiting. Let's just get into this game real quick. No, no reason to uh, dilly dally today. Favored to win four overall advantage with nine on offense uh, and a slight deficit two on defense. That's fine. Let's wear the uh, the all blacks this time around. I feel like probably we've worn that recently, but we're going to do it again anyways. And Virginia, let's see, what alternates do they have for their way? They could go all white, or we could go white pants. We'll go with the, just their standard away. I like that blue. 
It'll uh, add some color, some needed color to that uniform, and let's just get into this. So again, Virginia's offense, uh, pretty middle of the road. They score a decent amount. They move the ball okay, but nothing mind-bending, you know. They are decent at stopping the run defensively, but they just uh, overall don't have a great defense. They can't stop the pass to save their lives. We also can't stop the pass, but we're a little bit better in our defense all around is better our offense might be statistically worse in a few spots but i like our odds here couple guys visiting let's see two sacks with linebackers three sacks with d-line okay that's not gonna happen uh their top players 91 is the highest then they go to a 90 and an 88 so that's great news for us shouldn't have any crazy athletes that just dominate us hopefully although we did get dotted up by that 68 overall quarterback last time out so that's always a worry and they have a right end injured uh, out with a torn pectoral for six more weeks. That's most of the season at this point, so kind of a shame for that lineman. Um, but let's get into this. At home for the first time in a while. It's been a bit since we've been back in Conway. It's nice to be home. And we'll hope that uh, we can come out swinging in this one. Virginia wins the toss, which means we are going to start with the ball. No win today here on the coast as we will uh, get this one underway. So Jackson will be back to start us off today. Not a great kick for this kicker, which means it's a very fieldable kickoff. Blocking isn't great and oh, didn't quite get a whole lot. 80 yards for Grayson to go downfield and try to find the end zone on this opening drive. We'll open this one up with a run to Braden Bennett on first down and the running back has a little bit of room, had to run for his life to avoid the tackle from behind and picked up four yards on the counter. We'll keep Braden in on second down as we'll go to the air and we'll look to pass to him. It's a tough throw, but he's going to hold on to it through that contact. And we've got ourselves a third and short. And we'll give Braden... No, I'm going to audible out of this. We're going to look deep. They look like they want to bring pressure. So maybe a chance for Jackson to burn his man here. As uh, this third and two, stepping back to pass, gonna heave one up, not for Marquise Jackson, but for Aaron Bedgood, and he can't come down with it. Oh man, the safety shied towards Marquise, so had to go the other way and didn't work out. You already know we're gonna go for it. fourth and two, didn't almost, or almost didn't get the playoff in time. Grayson's gonna have plenty of space to scramble for that. That was honestly a little bit worrisome. I was having a hard time getting the play call off, but it works and the drive stays alive. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that we are having to go forward on fourth down so early against this team, but their defense is the better aspect as Braden Bennett picks up another first down just like that. And we're nearing midfield. We look to the air on this first and 10, and I'm not really seeing anything. A tough throw to Bedgood, and it's picked off. Oh, I was kind of hoping that we could sneak it through there, but again, man, we just keep playing against these defensive backs that are way taller than us. Randall White comes down with the interception, and our drive ended really early. Grayson starting the game 1-3 through the air. It'll be a man blitz on the first play out here for the defense as they'll go to the air, and wow. Okay, already today we can't tackle, and Starling picks up a first down immediately. Something's got to give here as they step back to pass again, and over the middle, I was right there, and I just walked away, but thankfully Armstead, maybe not the best passer. Maybe expecting a run on second down. It is a hand offense. Man, the blocking is so good. I had to choose a gap to try and stop him. He cuts it back and gets a 14-yard pickup. Try the zone blitz now on this first down. Try to get pressure to the quarterback. He's going to scramble. Charles Steele can't do anything. There's a fumble on the play and just happens to go right to a Virginia player. Oh, good news is this quarterback... Maybe he doesn't have the best hands. Number 98, that's a weird uh, quarterback number, but defense needs to get it together here and try to get a stop. Second and six, expecting another run, honestly. It's going to be an option out towards the edge. The pitch is out. Shelton just got blocked in the side of him, threw him off balance, couldn't get the tackle, and this is just so typical of our games. Why does it feel like no matter what we do, the team that we play is just going to annihilate us. I left my man wide open. I wasn't alone, and they get nine more yards. They're almost in the red zone. This is ridiculous. <laughs> they're not running for the first down. Engage a second and one. Oh no, they're going to back to pass. Obviously gonna be a guy open there, but I mean, let's be honest. We could have had 12 guys in coverage and they still would have completed that one. 
First and goal this time out. They will step back to pass. They throw it in the flat. Diggs needs to get this tackle, and Joshua Rawlings does come down, but picks up five yards in the process. Going with the interesting play call here. The corner blitz as they hand it off up the middle, and yeah, that's never going to work for us. Well, I was really expecting them to go to the air, but they hand it off, and we're losing to a really garbage Virginia team. And that, that wasn't even close to us getting a stop. Well, got to uh, answer real quick on this one. Otherwise, we do not have a chance in this game. Jackson might have done it. The blocking was good. If there's no penalties, Jackson has his second kick return touchdown in two games. And, well, this feels a lot like the last game. <laughs> we answer back immediately, and now the defense has to come back out and try to get a stop. That was, uh, I don't know, feels very typical of our games. Just don't do anything on offense, get lucky on special teams, and then, uh, I don't know, <laughs> hope that they make a mistake. Uh, I expect at some point for our talent levels to win out, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Great catch through the immediate contact for Jimmy Ray, and these guys aren't dropping anything right now. Split backs for this quarterback as we'll expect a run on this uh, second down. And no, quarterback, maybe a draw. I don't know if that was designed or not, but Armstead picks up the first down. So first and 10, again, expecting a run here. We'll see. What do we have? Are they burning clock? No, there's the handoff out towards the edge. And he's got so many blockers. Baker getting stiff arm cheesed in Virginia with, uh, what, 84, 86 overall? What was it? Something like that overall offense just uh, destroying us right now? Kind of weird. If we blitz, it's not working. If we don't blitz, it's not working. Uh, we're in a tough spot, that's for sure. This looks like a screen of some sort. I'm not really sure what the play call there was. So they go to the fullback, and he steps out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. Definitely going to expect the pass on this second and 10. No, it's a handoff up the middle. Just the single back, and again, their blocking is incredible. Look at how good their downfield blocking is from their wide receivers. On a play like that, it feels like they have nine offensive linemen on the field. Just no chance for us to get in there and break it up. This is going to be a run out towards the edge, and Shelton misses the tackle, but maybe pushed Sidney McRae into it. So thankfully, we only give up two yards. We're going to go with the safety blitz on this one. Maybe a little bit risky on second and eight. We shoot the gap, and we get to the quarterback immediately for a loss of four. Oh, he could have pitched that one out, but just didn't do it in time. Maybe he wasn't prepared for the pressure to get there so soon. And I don't think they'll get this playoff before the end of the quarter. So end of one tied up seven all. We've got them in a chance where maybe the defense can get off the field, but I won't hold my breath. And the offense needs to figure something out going into the rest of this game. They go to the air here. Third and 12 out route. Maybe open Sadipu gets the interception. No, he didn't get his feet in apparently. So it's incomplete. And it's going to be fourth and goal. I got to take a look at this. We're not going to challenge it, but I I had to look. I wasn't planning on challenging this because I thought they got the call right. But look at this. Two feet down on the play with possession. That's an interception. So that is really frustrating that we don't get the play in our favor, which means they're going to get a three-pointer there. And uh, yeah, kicker's got it. The refs just uh, completely screwed us over by missing that call. Uh, disappointing. But thankfully, we only give up a field goal. The part that hurts me the most about that is just that we never get interceptions. We always drop those. So when we finally catch one for the refs to screw it up, hurts quite a bit. Jackson breaking a tackle, trying not to let the offense see the field and gets 24 yards on the reception or on the return. And we're going to give it to him right off the bat here. A little bit risky, but on the jet sweep, if the blocking can be good... Oh, we would have been solid. Just 97 got through his man. Otherwise, that was gone. So second and 12 will look to pass here outside the pockets. And trying to throw a tough one. We find Williams. And Malcolm holds on to that one. I was a little bit worried that uh, that was going to be an interception on that play. Thankfully, Grayson's able to find his man. And from midfield, we're going to hand the ball off. The blocking is pretty solid for Beasley, who... Oh my gosh, this is becoming tradition for him. Gets a beautiful spin move to turn that into five yards. 
Let's see if we can pass for this one. They're pretty aggressive. A's wide open. We got to get it to him. It is Logan Malden. And he's got us across the 35-yard line. But look to pass it to Braden Bennett again here on this first down. And, oh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit B, but I hit A. And that's going to pick six. Oh, that is so frustrating. Wow. Two interceptions on two drives for this offense. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Return game isn't quite there for Jackson. The blocking doesn't hold up. And now I have to somehow come out and play more offense when Grayson is doing nothing for us. So from the conga line, we'll see if the counter can work. Grayson hands it off. The blocking is okay. And CJ Beasley makes the most out of it, getting five yards. A block on the DB out to the edge would have been perfect, but doesn't come to fruition. And man, that mistake throwing to the wrong uh, route, coupled with the fact that the refs didn't give us our interception, really, really hurts. Four down territory all over the field for the rest of this game because we need to be scoring points now as Bennett gonna cut that one up field and ooh, make a little move to get 12 we're gonna go play action on this first down looking to find Dion Fountain deep as X is maybe open can we get it to him it's underthrown from Grayson and it just bounced off of Dion oh this team doesn't want to win today it's like they don't like being ranked so the play call was beautiful but it doesn't work and on second and ten again from the Kong line Grayson going to run a play that is broken. I got to realize that that one's broken. Uh, lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage, but it's third and long. Just going to say it. Expect to see an interception thrown on this one. Or maybe a touchdown. Marquise Jackson burning his man. Holds on to it through the contact into the end zone. The 49-yard touchdown catch. Grayson threw that a little bit short, but did get it far enough in front for... Marquise to have a chance and uh, trying to make up for those two interceptions with a nice touchdown throw there. It makes it a three-point game again. So let's see. 227 left in the half. Can our defense do anything to try to get us back in this? Because they get the ball to start the third quarter, and that is very worrisome for me right now. We're going to try the 3-3-5 three, three, for this drive. I'm expecting them to pass quite a bit on it. As they step back, guys open, quarterback scrambling, and we get him with a hard hit, but still he picked up four yards in the process. So we're just going to be spying this quarterback now. I know that he wants to run. We'll try to get him. Oh my gosh, the read option. He dusts us and picks up 14 yards there. That's tough. He definitely had me there. So on this first down, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, put it back on the ground. Maybe a counter here? Uh, just to run up the middle. Good job from the defense getting there and shutting it down before it became too big. So we're just going to keep running the cover three. I don't want them to burn us deep. I expect them to be passing a little bit more at this point as over the middle they have a guy open and Baker can't get there. Miles just a little bit out of position and oh my god, this, uh, this offense just doesn't miss. Going to get real risky on this one. Bring in the safety blitz. Hoping for the best. Maybe we can get in here and disrupt. No. Oh, the quarterback just missed a wide open man over the middle. Maybe felt some pressure. We got lucky there. Well, a minute and 23. Two timeouts for Virginia. On this second and 10, they step back to pass. And there's a guy open. St what? Diving to break it up. I think that was Starling. Actually, no. Starling's their guy. It was either Miles Baker or Roger Reed. I'm not sure. Very happy with the result, though, as over the middle... What was that? They just instantly called it down? That was absolutely just a glitch with the game. They just called the play dead immediately. I don't know what the heck that was about. Quarterback, time to throw. Throws it deep. Roger Reed gets the interception. The refs will call it this time. And what should have been our second pick of the game becomes our first. And with a minute and one and all our timeouts left in the half, we have a chance to drive down the field and either tie it up or take the lead. You already know on this first play, we're sending Marquise deep. And, well, we threw it to Tyson, but he just couldn't get it there. Well, plenty of time to work with. Let's just continue to run our offense as best we can and throw a pick. Probably a pick six unless Grayson gets the stop. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, wow. This hurts. 
This hurts a lot. 24 to 14 in the first half. And now we have 52 seconds to try and do the same thing. Unfortunately, we have a quarterback who has thrown three picks already this game, and he's got uh, 81, 82 yards to try and go down the field and make this somewhat of a game at the half. Man, we're getting obliterated. Problem is we have to keep passing. If we don't score a touchdown on this drive, we are in a lot of trouble. Marquise Jackson, we find him, but clock's going to be moving as he only got eight yards. Uh, 30 seconds left now. A is wide open. We're not going to be able to have the distance to get it there, and we're lucky it wasn't picked off. I was late throwing it, and Logan just, uh, I don't know, wasted that play, I guess. So we've got a third and two to deal with, and I'm going to scramble. No, we don't. We can't even scramble. Oh, end my life. This is the worst game that we've ever played. Fourth and 10, 21 seconds inside our own 20. We're going to go for this. Could be a disastrous decision, or <laughs> he was wide open. Grayson's the worst quarterback in the world. This is just ridiculous. How can you miss a man who's that wide open right over the middle as a Division I quarterback? Oh, just a little bit disappointing. All the time in the world for this quarterback. We need a fumble, but we won't get it. And they're going to be able to take the field goal here, no problem. Expect them to take their time out. No, final play of the half. They're going for it. In the end zone, no touchdown. First and goal. We just got so lucky that this is not a three-score game right now. But we do have to give them the ball to start the third quarter. So this, I don't know, all around absolutely disastrous first half. I, I, all interceptions, can't do anything on offense. Offense is trash. Defense is garbage. Oh, man. Conway apparently is a landfill today. Time to start cheesing onside kicks as much as we can and hope that we can just recover one. That one's bouncing around. Oh, my goodness. How do we not get a single guy there in time? We are not going to get that lucky to, again today. Had about five seconds to pick it up, but now the defense gets to come out and struggle. Well, let's see. What can we do? We have technically two stops. Should have been a whole lot more. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm just tired of playing these running backs that way overplay their potential. Expect to see uh, a nice touchdown pass on this play. We're bringing pressure, which, of course, means that they're going to go for it. No, quarterback scrambling, and we get the sack. Oh, wow. Thank goodness. Split backs on second 11 has me pretty worried. Um, kind of expecting a run. We'll see. It is a handoff up the middle. Everything was clogged, but he finds a gap and <laughs> breaks another tackle. Gets 10 yards. Wow. Well, they're probably going to pass for a touchdown on this play, but we're bringing the pressure. I'm not going to let them run for it. They are going to be able to run for it. Diggs. Uh, yeah, got to the quarterback, but he throws the touchdown. I mean, this <laughs> it's almost comical. How often our team just underperforms against garbage opponents? Oh, 31 to 14, huh? Is this really the team that we're going to take our second loss of the season to? Please, special teams, give me something to work with. Marquise with a great uh, spin move, but he stumbles down and... Goes out of bounds before he can recover. So if we don't score a touchdown on this drive, for sure the game is over. Three interceptions, two pick sixes on the day for Grayson McCall, which is unfortunate because we're at a spot now where we need to pass the ball a ton. Um, but we're going to be in the hurry up and hoping that we can just find the end zone. Looks like they want to bring pressure. We got to try to burn them here. Scrambling outside the pocket immediately. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay. Please don't fumble. I didn't mean to go past the line of scrimmage. That spin move was me trying to pass the ball, but it works for now. Well, let's just keep running this ace package. It's going to work well. We're going to cheese the uh, the scramble as much as we can right now. Grayson getting out of bounds, just picking up the yards, and we have to go hyper speed right now. Play action now on this first down. We really are in crunch time. B, maybe open bed. Good. Oh, can't come down with it. That would have been such a big one. Didn't quite run the route as I expected, though. Second and 10 will look to hand this one off to Beasley, who just gets strung out to the edge. The blocking isn't there and loses a yard. And on third and 11, we'll go to the air. JJ bars in at tight end, which is a little bit worrisome as we'll scramble probably for the first down. Grayson slides across that marker to move the chains. Gonna keep going with the counter. 
Gonna keep going with the hurry up. We'll look for the fake fly counter on this one. And the blocking is just, again, not there for CJ Beasley. So just really unfortunate that the only way for us to move the ball is through the air right now when we're at risk of throwing an, any, an interception on any given play. So again, trying the play action. Wise open over the middle. It's JJ Barr, the fullback, and he's got the first and goal. Need to score ASAP on this one as we'll try to hand it off. And the blocking is solid for once for CJ Beasley. And he got seven yards on that almost into the end zone. We'll call the halfback dive. They're pinching up on it. CJ needs to get into the end zone, and he does. There's a flag on the play, though. This is almost certainly a holding. It's coming back, and it looked like CJ was a little bit shaken up on the play. So double negative for us. JJ Barr gets called for the holding. Oh, that's so disappointing. So now it is second and goal from the 11 as we'll step back to pass. And Grayson running for his life. What a diving sack. Well, third and goal from outside the 15. I got to tell you, I don't think we have uh, a great chance at picking this one up, but it is four down territory. Mobley corner, almost an interception. It's fourth and goal. I think we have to go for this. A field goal just doesn't get it done. Really hoping here that somebody gets open. There it is. Touchdown, Dion Fountain. Oh my gosh, the super large gamble pays off for now. It's going to be a 10-point game still in the third quarter. Onside kick attempt number two. The first one was great. This one has a similar amount of power, although they field it very cleanly, which is unfortunate. And the defense, again, with a short field to work with, hoping they get some sort of stop. And at this point in the game, I honestly think we might just start going for two when we score our touchdowns. Try to get rid of the 10 points and turn it into... Uh, you know, maybe a seven-point deficit, uh, but it's going to take a miracle at this point. Good stop so far from the defense. Brought the safety blitz on first down. It holds them to three, and they'll step back to pass on this one. Corner out's absolutely wide open. Oh, come on. We were in man coverage. How do you lose that guy? Well, the man coverage hasn't worked for us. Maybe we can use the zone. Honestly, I'm out of ideas at this point as they will go to the air. And oh, the big hit. Breaks up the pass when I thought for sure I just gave up three yards. Second and ten now. This one looks like it's going to be a run out towards the edge. He cuts it upfield and stumbles. It's third and five. Maybe a chance for us to hold this team to a field goal. If they run the ball, they have a great chance of picking it up. But we're going to just ba focus on stopping the pass on this one. It looks like they will step back to throw. And look at how wide open he is. How? Oh, my goodness, defense. What are you doing? That is so ridiculously unacceptable as they'll go back to pass on this one. And in the end zone, they've got the touchdown. Oh my gosh, we're Swiss cheese today. Well, the only chance for this team to win now is an onside kick and a lot of two-point conversions because the defense certainly isn't going to get the job done today. Blocking is okay. I guess some special teams could help. Marquise Jackson immediately answering back with a great return. I don't think he has the speed to take it to the house, but we're starting our drive inside the red zone. Let's make sure that we can try to turn this one into points before the end of the third quarter. Uh, over the middle, we've got Braden Bennett. Almost a first down. Got to go in the hurry up here. Second and two. We're going to step back to pass outside the pocket. We've got Braden Bennett. Juke kind of works, and he's <laughs> falling forward inside the five for a first and goal. And we're going to try to give him the counter on this first down, hoping that the running game works. He's got the inside line for that touchdown. And we're going to start going for twos here, and we need an onside kick after this as well. Uh, I don't know what play just got called. It's one of the ones out of the Philly special. This is not the play that I chose. So we're going to have to take a delay a game. Um, maybe I can get them to jump offside. No, we'll take the false start. That's so frustrating. Not at all the play that, that I wanted to call. We're still going to go for this one, though. Looking to throw outside the pocket. Grayson, nobody open. Waiting, waiting, throwing across. Incomplete. That's a shame. Down 11 now. Maybe should have uh, kicked the extra point after we didn't convert, but they stopped us from scrambling, which is a shame. And on the onside kick, again, they field it cleanly. 20 seconds left in the third. The defense literally has to hold them to a field goal or just straight up get a stop. Defense just hasn't been able to get it done yet. They're going with, with the screen on this play. Diggs gets the tackle, but they still got six yards on that one. 
So that's going to end the third quarter. Down 11 going into the fourth. Uh, it does not look good for us at this point. Got to pray that the defense can figure it out here or that something good happens. I will be expecting the run on second and four here. They're going to step back to pass. Of course, guys, open. We didn't give up the first down, though, so it is third and inches. And we're going to go engage eight to try and stop the run here. That's it's our best shot to get it. We had him. Oh, what are we doing, defense? You got to get that stop. We give up the first down, and now the clock just going to continue to burn. So supremely disappointing on that one. This one, they're going to step back to pack the safety. Blitz gets there immediately. Oh, my gosh. The quarterback got obliterated for a loss of four. That's a great start to this set of downs. Expecting to see the uh, the pass. They're going to go to the air. This is a, a little like mid-screen, maybe a jailbreak. Are you kidding me? It's so perfect, and he's got the first and goal. Just devastating on plays like that. Again, trying to just stop the, the pass, and nope, doesn't work. There's the touchdown. Game over. Real frustrating. 45 to 27 in the fourth quarter. I don't like our odds at this point. Not a great kick. Very returnable one for Marquise Jackson. And Marquise down the sideline again gets his good field position. He's doing his best. It's just the rest of the team can't do anything to help him. So let's just continue to pass the ball and hope for the best. There's Logan Malden for an easy first down and a pretty solid chunk more afterwards. And on first and 10 again going to the air. There's Dion Fountain trying to outrun his man, stopping the clock with a first down. Another first down. Coming in bunches right now, outside the pocket. There's Logan Malden again, another first down, this time a first and goal. We're going to go with a risky play call here. Motion wide receiver option. Brayden Bennett won't get it. Grayson's going to be able to keep it. And Grayson looking for the end zone, gets the touchdown. Oh my gosh, we're scoring quick. It's just if we had any sort of defense, we would win this game. So we'll go for two again, trying to make this uh, a 10-point game. Outside the pocket, wise open. J.J. Barr holds on to it. 35-45, 4-18 to play. Onside kick attempt number three. Again, decent on the power, but it, they just keep picking it up. The one opportunity that we had to field when nobody from the team could get near it. I'm expecting to see a lot of running from this uh, Virginia team at this point, as I got to expect they'll try to burn the clock as much as they can. Although, what's the point if our defense is so terrible? Well, I'm going to go engage eight on literally every first down that we have from here on out and just hope that we get this stop. This one will run up the middle. There we go. We just need to hold them to a field goal, and maybe we can still have a chance. Second and 10 here. Maybe an interception, a pick six, something would be so beautiful over the middle. It's Miles Baker getting burned for a first down. Okay, that's a shame. First down means we're going engage eight again. Very likely a touchdown. Oh my gosh, quarterback got lucky to get that pass off. Are we going to get called for roughing the passer here? I swear to goodness. Oh, wow. That's such a joke of a game. Remember when the refs stole an interception from us? That was cool. If you give us that interception back, it is very likely a uh, tie game right now. They got a field goal after uh, we didn't get the interception. Whereas if we would have gone down the field and scored on that one, we would have been looking real good. All right, well, at least they're starting to burn the clock, which is bad news, but also means that we can time the snap, and it's not going to matter because we can't tackle these guys. Our defense is garbage, and yep. Uh, it's time to really start cheesing even more than we have been. All right, 2.58 to go. Very, very, very minuscule chance of... Uh, this going in our favor. Marquis going to do his best. Oh my god, 84 is actually using speed hacks to make sure that we don't score that. Proof that the game doesn't want us to win, I think. All righty. First and 10, 250 to play. Stepping back to pass. Bad good gets the ball swatted away. That's a shame. Try a four verts on this second and 10. Jackson should be open for an easy one. Getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Try to keep sending Marquise deep and just watching the safety outside the pocket. We're going to scramble. Coming across the field is Dion Fountain. He's got the first down a little bit more. Where was this offense earlier in the game? Another first down. Again, outside the pocket. RB's open. Dion Fountain holds on to that one through the contact somehow. 
And that's a first and goal. Kind of looking for Logan Malden on this one. He's not open. Oh my god, I'm lucky that wasn't picked off. Oh, that guy ran, uh, I don't know, to cover it way different than I expected him to. Looks like they want to bring some pressure. Getting outside the pocket, looking to throw. A's open. Bradshaw comes down with it. Not even a name I recognize. He gets out of bounds after picking up three. Unfortunately, the clock is running. I'm surprised that's not a touchdown. It's time to try the fullback dive. Please, JJ Barr, get in. He does. And it's not quite over yet, although it really does feel like it. So again, going for two, trying to erase any sort of deficit. Couple of guys open, but we're going to scramble because can't have an incompletion if you just run the ball. 52 to 43. It's a shame we didn't get that first two-point conversion because this would be looking real better for us, or much better for us. And with 213, we need an onside kick here to save our bacon. That wasn't a great amount of power. And it is fielded, so we're going to have to take our timeouts and hope for a miracle. First and 10, expecting the run. There is a handoff out towards the edge. We get the tackle. We'll take the timeout. Second and 12 now. They should hand this one off, but I don't necessarily trust them to do so. And no, there is the handoff out towards the edge. Roger, or, uh, yeah, Charles Steele gets the tackle. It's third and 12. So they'll go to the air here on a big third and 12. I didn't get to call the play that I necessarily wanted. Guys open. Oh, tackle him. We got to let him score. That is so stupid. We had the stop, but we can't tackle. This defense is atrocious. That confirms it for me. That is so frustrating. That is the exact stop that we needed. The defense finally did enough, but not for enough plays. And so as it stands, we have a minute and 50 to... Just continue to pray and hope that something good happens. The best news is that touchdown two-point conversion, I think, makes it an eight-point game. Scrambling. Marquise Jackson was open, but I'm just going to make sure that we get our yards when we can. With one timeout, it's almost guaranteed that if they get the ball again, we're done for. And unfortunately, I made a mistake there. Throwing it short of the line to gain allows the clock to run. Second and five. Grayson's on fire now at this point, so I guess we got that going for us. Uh, tough throw. Finds Marquis Jackson. He held on to that one through the contact. Wow. It's a real shame that we couldn't do any of this earlier. It really is. Another first down. I hit the wrong button. Malden comes down with it anyways. Meant to throw it to Marquise because it looked like he was wide open, but that's good for 17 yards. We'll look to throw again. One more time. RB in the corner. Dion Fountain. Touchdown. Oh my, minute and 16 left. 10 point game, we could make it eight. Bradshaw is wide open. Good throw to him here. I hit the wrong button. I hit the, I tried to hit Y and then it didn't happen and I accidentally hit B. So we lose the game. Oh my God. I hit Y right as the snap happened, but it didn't, uh, it didn't throw. And then I hit B to try to switch to him for the user catch. And it threw to B. So there's your game. We lose to Virginia. Six and two. Need a fumble here. That is so disheartening. We had our man open. We just couldn't get to him. We can't get the strip either. We'll try to force him to run one play, but they can just knee the ball out here. So many chances to win this game. Defense didn't take a single one of them. And that's your game. Well, just to rub it on our faces, will they kick this field goal? That would be incredibly rude. No. I don't know why they came out in the field goal formation, but... Ugh. Such a, such a disappointing loss. Three interceptions, two pick sixes. The refs took one interception away from us. Kept hitting the wrong button. Should have had a two-point conversion on that last one, but it doesn't matter because the one chance that we had a decent bounce on an onside kick today our team couldn't get anywhere near it so just uh couldn't play the defense had plenty of chances to get a stop and couldn't get a single one and we give up almost 60 points to a now three and three virginia well that was just no fun absolutely zero fun we just got dusted uh couldn't couldn't stop them to save our lives and they've scored so many the fourth quarter is kind of an anomaly but 17 second quarter points just won't get it done. We lose the turnover battle by two. Uh, Marquise Jackson tried to do what he could. 
Everybody else, just worthless on the team as far as I'm concerned. Even Grayson at the end making all the throws that he did. Three interceptions just kills the game for us. Uh, meanwhile, their quarterback, again, dotted us up. And it's just uh, a sad loss. So let's just get out of this week. Six and two. No chance of us being ranked for the rest of the season at this rank. If we couldn't get ranked at six and one, we're not going to get ranked at ten and two. Um, so we'll move on. We play Miami next week, and I can't imagine that goes well for us. Well, some guys are ready to visit. You know, I, I got to be honest. If you're a, a defensive player and you're really good and you want a chance to prove how good you are, we're a good place to come. Um, we just never have good defense. So you could be like, yeah, I could come and be the star at this program. Miami 6-1 and one is who we have to play next. They're an A-plus overall team. Uh, I don't like our odds. <laughs> I really don't like our odds here. And uh, neither does Lee Corso. Top 25 polls around the country. We didn't really see a whole lot of chaos, I don't believe. Uh, number 7 NC State lost, which is bad for us. So, of course, they continue to find ways to hurt us. Uh, LSU at number 8 lost. Number 14 Kansas took a loss. So did number 15 Vanderbilt. Uh, and number 17, Colorado, Wisconsin, Mississippi State, Illinois, all dropping out. We would have been ripe to uh, to become ranked after that one, but no longer receiving votes there. How about the media poll? We were 22nd last week. We are barely receiving votes this week as we dropped out. So a bit of a shame. And in the BCS, this is the first iteration. Can't imagine we're on it. <laughs> we're not. No surprise there. Uh, you know, I'm hurt. I'm hurt by the game. I'm hurt by the defense. We got to figure something out. Uh, there was just nothing that we could do. Couldn't tackle, couldn't shed blocks, couldn't play man, couldn't play zone, couldn't blitz, couldn't drop into coverage. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, if, if I could, if there was an option in this game to make this team run laps until they puked, I think that we would do it today after that performance. That's just disappointing. It's a not very good Virginia team, but unfortunately that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you made it this far, oh, thanks for sticking through it. Tough, tough loss. I'm curious what you guys are thinking of that. So I don't know. Let me uh, let me know in the comments what you think the turning point was for uh, when that game became unwinnable for us. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like button. Helps out the uh, the channel quite a bit when you do that. And if you enjoy the videos and the channel itself, uh, please feel free to subscribe because that helps as well. And while you're down there, liking and subscribing, please feel free to head to the description where you'll find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, as well as my Twitter and our community Discord. And as always, a link to the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. That being said, thanks again for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.